do 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 Hello, who do we have in this party tonight? What's going on? Who's there? Oh, got three in. In quick succession, succession. So, what's going on? Any questions? What just wanna um, talk about? Just on a fucking mountain in an island in Greece here on assassins. Boom. So, what do you think? gonna happen against the um, the blue you know what on the 20th nice easy win or tough game or what have you been watching the Bundesliga? league see horse racing's back little I'm back to a little bit of normality aren't we oh. I need to add here, don't I? See what's going on. Oh, I'm spotting a lot of them. So you know what? Probably struggle with this because. Yeah, character is not that high. So go on. What, what's going on, people? What are we chatting about? What do you think of um, Team Alwena going to a small club in London? Character up here. Yeah, do you think I knife very quickly there, chaps? To be honest with you, Arthur, um, if he doesn't want to play for the Peel Football Club, fuck him. I couldn't give a fuck. Um, you know, he's obviously he's tried to um, have a little bit more over his wages. And to be quite honest with you, Klopp hasn't fell for it. You know, he knows he'll get value for money out of someone at the same level. But said, let him struggle down there for big fat Frank. Um, the cop I don't want to be spotted here. Sick it is. I don't think FSG our brigades will be about I think, you know um, at the end of the day if Klopp wanted them that bad he would have got them you know Klopp always wants his man but probably for the money he wanted he didn't think he's worth it you know just but as I said if he wanted us to come to Liverpool he himself would have forced a move through no matter how much money he was on and to be honest if he doesn't want to wear the jersey fuck him to be honest the, the young lads at um, Halovic are uh, Leverkusen I fancy more um, you know I don't think we're going to have Genie past next season up to now because he hasn't signed and I think he'd be a great replacement the best, best atmosphere, bloody hell. The Barcelona one was good, Dortmund was good. 
Chelsea in the Champions League, United away in the UEFA Cup. When we stopped, United win the league when Leeds won it in 91. There's quite a few. It's a hard question because I've been to that many. But to be honest, the best ones are the ones you win anyway. <laughs> or come from behind. Oh, been spotted there, haven't I? You'll never beat me. Sorry. I'd say the Barca one, maybe just because you know we're three 0 down. It was never a three 0 game over there, but you know three 0 down to that Barca team. You know I don't think Dortmund were. Anywhere near as good as that team. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, let's get this to you. Oh, boom! Worst complete, let's get out of here because we're not up to this level. Get out of there, pans in! <laughs> ah, got me! Yeah, definitely. Definitely. I'd like to see Shave stands on back. Um, you know, I, I lost a family member at Hill's Breast, so to touch his son for it, somewhere against it. But, you know, um, I hate myself more now in standing in seats when we fall over seats when you're celebrating. You know, my shins are always knackered and cut. But, um, you've seen in Germany, safe stands, and it's not—it's not like years ago where you can just box the stewards off to let you in. You can overcrowd, you know. There's a seat with that bar, and I thought it was great at Spurs away this season. But um, yeah, I'd be for it, um, but I don't think our club will probably let it happen. Due to circumstance, which you can understand. So, who's going to be on your transfer targets then? And who do you think if we get a forward, who should we get? By the way, the noise of vapor. We are two, we're in three. You know, um, definitely Halvitz, I'd definitely take him. We are we're winner in, we're in the three games. Um, you know, not having a crowd is going to be a bit weird against City. Because they want to play Everton and Palace should be different, but Palace are a difficult club to play against as well. Um, but we will do it. Um, but I do know that the first home game we're allowed back in, they are going to show the league and lift it there and do a parade in that sense. Um, it's just shit that we're not there, and you know, we've just got to go through this to make sure we're all fit and healthy. But we are definitely. Um, We'll definitely get there. What do you think I yourself? How many games do you think you'd we'll do with him? Well, I had 20 quid on Halibut last week anytime. So, that was 4 to 6. He's, um, he's got something for his age. You know, and I think... If he moves on to something better and bigger now, he'll just get better and better. I, I, I think Leverkusen would potentially hold on back. In my eyes. Fuck me. I 
fight. Ha <laughs> ha! Escape with the skin of my teeth here, haven't I? Right, let me see. <laughs> Shame here, as long as we batter Everton. <laughs> But um, today I got the season's kit, I didn't buy it at the beginning of the season. And um, I ordered it with like the Champions League winners on the side and the six European Cups and the World Club Championship badge. The World Club Championship hasn't come with it. So quite pissed off with that. So I've just sent an email back to Liverpool. You know, if it is at Goodison the Derby, I think that normally when Everton are at home in the Derby, the crowd's up for it, it's a lot difficult to... I, I think that could possibly work in our favour. Due to the fact that... Um, they're not going to be on top of the game. Yeah, um, well it's about time Arsenal pulled the finger out against the city because in recent records um, been fucking awful haven't you, let's be honest against them Right, where's this? Ah, uh, gosh Yeah, I don't think I'll be going there I think that's miles away that I got. So what are you looking forward to when things open up um, on the 15th? Gonna be looking forward to them a little bit of shopping. Still can't go to a restaurant for the booze at all, can we? Um, what what he's doing for the derby is having a drink in the house. You going round to someone's? Are we going to be in the park like it is Jones's sister? <laughs> What did you think on that, boys? I thought that was um, wasn't very good to see the other day. Well, a little bit shit that I haven't even been able to do videos and put them up, and I didn't even think. Do you know what? Just put do a few gaming up, keep um, the channel ticking over, but. They'll be back in due course, but I do know I don't think we'll be in the grounds until at least October. So where about he is from anyway, boys? What neck of the woods? <laughs> is right. I'm gonna um, think I'll have a few nice foreign ales to that myself.
Um, I've seen all the people at the protest. I haven't seen one myself because of I've, I've worked through the pandemic. Um, you know, I think the peaceful ones have been okay, but the looting and that—it's just stupid. They're just wrecking their own city and shitting on their own doorstep, really. You know, burning people, especially in America, burning people's businesses down, homes. It's. It's shit what we live in and, you know, um, what happen, what happens to people of different colour by the police is wrong and it's disgusting, it shouldn't be happening, but it's not people who are trying to earn a living's fault, so just your average man. Yeah, no one is, mate. To um, to be honest, I think I I think that they've overreacted too much because you know look how many people died of flu every year and stuff. It I think part of it was to take your eyes off what was happening in the world. You know, um, just nothing about Prince Andrew, Epstein, um, Brexit in the papers now, and it's all because of this. So I think. It, it helped with getting all the bad shit like the yellow jackets in France the people protesting in China um, so it just shows in future if things are going to sit up and they don't like it they can just say oh there's an epidemic and just shut us all down but um, you know people have been dying of this and ill I think I've had it. I think most people have had it Well, do, do you know what, Arthur? I started going in 91, but I know all the stories of me, what my uncle said, and, you know, you see the videos, we were just cattle, you know, it's totally different now, the, like, stewards are there to help us, you know, um, some people treat stewards like shit, but they're there for our safety, you know, it's, it, it's totally different where we live in now, it's more of a family, alright, you go to Bulgaria and... Russia and Italy and the 20 years behind is the way they think and want to fight and don't want to enjoy it. Obviously if someone throws a punch at you, you're not going to take it, you're going to retaliate and react, but it's not like that here now, it's, you know, it, it's a business, it's family, it's entertainment and you just want to go and have a sing song, don't you, and a few aisles. But where are you from yourself, Art? Ticket prices like anything have gone up, but you know, it's a business now and it's a shame it's not at the roots that it used to be, but sometimes you've got to move with the times and if that helps our club out and buys better players and stuff, it's, it's the way it's gone. Uh, we can all wish we can go back to where it was four quid to get in and players weren't on that much money, but you know, if I have a son and you can get offered to be on that much money, more power to him it's a short career you know and he can actually go and carry on his career and management coaching but um it's just you've got to move at the times and i know a lot of people can't get past that but don't get me wrong don't overprice people and fucking make sure they can't afford to go you know um like the the 30 pound ticket for the away was great and I think I would have packed in if it carried on the way it was going and they stuck to that so good on the clubs and um, supporters unions for that. What do you think yourself on that? Oh Salesbury, nice, nice place. 
Um, well, on Kirkdale, just round the corner. Just to, to, to throw a stone to the ground. <laughs> I saw the message you left on the board. What's happening? Our elder priest went to the cave to but I can always remember people saying when it, when it went up to the five and six and, and seven quid, if it goes up another pound, yes. I'm not going None next season. <laughs> and they're still going. <laughs> <laughs> you can count on me. You'll be doing divine work. You can leave everything to me. I think they should, though, with the Mon game, they should do more for kids. And I think it's mad the way, like, kids under 14 can't go in on their own anymore. Just gotta have an, or 16, got to have an adult. I was walking in that grounds on my own at age 10. Um, but I don't think a boy's plan is work now with the child protection and stuff. Gotta get your woods on this game, lad. You need to make them arrows. I tell you what's gonna be weird for next season: the the market on players. How how much you think's gonna go off the market value of some players with what's gone on? You know, I think Chelsea obviously will probably have a little bit more to spend because they haven't spent nothing in what, nearly two seasons, 18 months. Where the fuck are these bastards? These are not somewhere, aren't they? I'm in a bunch of yeah, don't want to see that. You should fuck off. So, what have you been watching on YouTube or on Netflix and that? What's been um, your guilty pleasure why this has all been going on? Yeah, you've done well there. I, I, this is the first season I didn't do a European away because I ran out of holidays from work. So, been a bit shit for me, but it is what it is. At least I'll have some saved up for next season if we can fucking get away. Friday night dinner, fucking excellent. I'm good that that's the last one for a while. The, the dad and that, fucking brilliant. Right, where am I going here to go? Um, Netflix, what have I watched? Um, loads of documentaries, I haven't st stuck. Oh, Rick and Morty's back on, I've watched some of that. But the actual name. Has been nothing that's captivated me for a while, and I've wanted to watch. On and on. Afterlife, any good? Where am I getting here to these? I just got to see. I watched, I'll tell you what I did watch the other day. I watched that Epstein thing. Yes, sad. That Epstein, um thing was mad, what a fucking wild nun she was. Right.
What have you taught at the German football? Have you watched any of that? I've um, I've caught most of it. But yeah, I was going to do a video last week, and um, I completely forgot. <laughs> I think they're making a couple more of them Friday night dinners in a little little year or two. They're having a nice little break. I think um, obviously they'll probably want to do their own little projects. But have you been playing playing any games on PlayStation or Xbox? <laughs> but I actually got into the grounds a couple of weeks ago to get banners out for um, the steward that died funeral, um, basically just in and out. Um, Put them outside the cop for them, shave lip peel for 28 years. So that was sad. And being on cards. Yeah, um, I'm not into the um, the battle royale stuff like, but I do like it. Wait, I've got a new follower here. Sanda, I'll add you later. If that's one of use. Right. Where the fucking hell is this fucking just seen it? Haven't they just delayed um, the next season on um cards? Whoa! The next season pass. Whoa, 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 whoa. Aha, it's somewhere here then, isn't it? Oh, it's not there. There we are. Cards. Fucking hell. That needs a bail list all night. Wait. Well, chaps, I'll probably jump on and do another video in a little, little half an hour because I'm gonna go and make myself a nice cup of tea and I have a smoke, and then um, I'll be on and we'll chat more. Might even do a little watch along on something, watching something. Eh? But um, good to hear from you, and I speak to you in a little half an hour. See you soon.